Hey everybody, this is Coach Troy and welcome to today's video tip. Today I want to talk about warming up before your triathlon. The warm up is really important and a lot of people overlook the importance of getting a really good warm up. I mean after all, when you start a hard workout, do you start cold? No, you warm up prior to your workout. Now a couple things you need to know. First of all, the shorter the distance of the race, the longer and more intense your warm up needs to be. You need to elevate the heart rate, really get things going so your body's nice and warm and ready to go. The longer the race, as in doing an Ironman for example, the shorter the warm up needs to be. But keep that in mind, short race, longer warm up. Longer race, shorter warm up. Now when do you start the warm up? Well there's a lot of personal preference and it's really up to you, but I suggest starting your warm up about 30 to 40 minutes before the gun goes off. And in triathlon obviously you have the three different sports, your swimming, your cycling, and your running. So typically what I would suggest is you start off warming up with the cycling piece and if the race allows you have your bike on a trainer in transition and you can do some sets that will really get your legs going, do some intervals, bring your heart rate up to that lactate threshold heart rate and then recover and maybe spend about 10 or 15 minutes on the trainer. Then you can go out, stretch a little bit and then do some running. Of course your stretches need to be those dynamic stretches that we've discussed in other video tips. But do some running and do some striders in your running. Really open it up a little bit, get the legs moving and again get that heart rate up around lactate threshold for a short period of time and then recover. Just flush everything out, really get the systems going. And then when it comes to the swim, if they allow you to get in the water, hop in the water about 10 minutes before the gun goes off and swim around a little bit, do some drills, but then again do some openers, you know, get, get those blood vessels open again, heart rate up, those muscles really nice and loose. If you can't get in the water then use your stretch cords or surgical tubing and do some dry land work and we did some uh, another video in the past with some examples of some dry land conditioning that you can do. But Warming up is really important if you want to have a good race and a good start to your race. So make sure that you figure out the, the way that you need to warm up as an athlete, experiment with some different ideas, and then incorporate that into your normal race routine. That's all for today. Until next time, train safe and train smart.